Hi, I'm Sana and I'm an 8th grade student at the Zurich International School. As hopefully all of you know, global warming and climate change are a growing issue in this world. That is why instead of our yearly science fair, we created blogs and chose a project that had to do with global warming and climate change. Our project focused on an effect that global warming and climate change had on this world and we figured out a solution to save our world. So as you all know, our science project was to design something that could withstand or stop a certain effect of global warming and climate change. Now let me explain the project I chose. I'm from Holland and that is why I chose my project because as some of you might know, Holland's land is under the sea level and if the polar ice caps would melt, Holland would flood. So I created a house that can withstand flood waters. In other words, this house can move up with the water and down with the water. So let me explain how I built it. I started off with a few lightweight planks and glued them together. Then, following up, I glued some styrofoam under those planks to help the house float. And as you see here, I have some cardboard cylinders that fit over these wooden poles. And these would actually display my hydraulic pipes under the house. And this here is the base of the house that would actually be planted under the sea level, seabed. Okay, now coming to the house. What I basically did was glue a cardboard box onto a cardboard roof and then I covered it with paper mache. After that, I glued it on and then I, I focused on the little details of the windows and the solar panels. And then came the fun part of painting and decorating this whole thing. Now, enough said about how I made it, let me explain how it works. So, basically what happens is when the water rises up, my hydraulic pipes would push this house up. And now, that works like this. And these hydraulic pipes know when to push the house up because it would be monitored by a special computer. Now, I'll explain to you what my house would actually be made of. So my hydraulic pipes would be made of stainless steel because it, you won't have problems with rust or moss. Now, the base of my house, which would be planted into the seabed, is made of cement. So you won't ever have a problem with it floating away or issues with it breaking. And now my water and storage place would also be made out of cement so you won't have problems of any kind of waste escaping. Now, I also have a waste tube traveling to my storage place, which would be made of PVC. And the base of the house, which basically is, stays afloat, would also be made of cement. Now, you might think that this is really heavy, but hydraulic pipes are pretty strong, so that it is the job to hold the house up. Now, you guys all hopefully know what houses are made of. Cement and isolation and stuff, but basically the outside would be made of plaster, and obviously glass would be made out of glass. Now, you see, this house is actually economically friendly, so it be, should be able to store its own waste and create its own energy. That is why I have my solar panels. This house basically lives off its own energy. And just in case you never know the water might run out, you also have a rainwater collector that would, thanks to this pipeline, travel all the way down to the water storage. And of course, you can't forget, I also have the rain collector, which is made out, would be made out of copper. And then, you never know, things really might get out of hand. You need an emergency boat. <laughs> you just don't know. So, I hope you liked my house and enjoyed my presentation. And please visit the rest of my blog and comment. And tell your friends to visit it too. Thanks for watching.